With a population of uh, 200 million people, Nigeria is the most populous country indeed in Africa. Nigeria is also the greatest economy in Africa. This, however, is not reflected in the power supply in the country. So 200 million people rely on about four gigawatts supplied electricity from the grid. It is a well-known fact that Nigeria has very significant potential in renewable energies, solar, hydro, a potential that's already been tapped but not yet fully reached uh, the scale of opportunities that lie there. The wider context of this program is Nigerian-German relations as a whole. Ever since, Germany and Nigeria have cooperated very closely in a whole number of uh, areas, but uh, energy has always uh, held a particular place. Energy is so key for every country. Nigeria has energy needs for its growing population, for its growing industry and business, and Germany has experience in the area of energy. So uh, we thought, why not pool our needs and what we can bring to the table and make energy one of the focuses of German-Nigerian cooperation. In 2018, therefore, the German Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in its support through the Nigerian-German Energy Partnership, introduced this program, Scaling Up University Electrification in Nigeria, which was targeted at supporting the endeavors of the Nigerian-German Energy Partnership. The starting point was to create a model place uh, which could demonstrate to everyone how renewable energies can work and contribute to safe, clean and reliable energy supply. Now what better place to start than a university? When this idea came about first during the Binational Commission between Nigeria and Germany, GIZ was more than happy to provide this support on behalf of German Foreign Office with the deployment of an integrated embedded expert at the University of Ibadan. This expert, Eric Lespin, a highly skilled technician, has been with the University of Ibadan from September 2019 to April 2020 to help modernize the curriculum for mechanical engineering with regards to contents on renewable energy and especially solar electrification. Furthermore, he has trained also staff at the Department of Mechanical Engineering during that time on how to apply those new contents within the curriculum. A lot of these activities are tied towards the Sustainable Development Goals um, for quality education, affordable clean energy, and decent economic growth. Several universities across Nigeria were supported with implementation of a curricula for solar trainings in their various universities. I was seconded into the University of Ibadan Department of Mechanical Engineering. The goal was to strengthen the work of renewable energies the ability to teach renewable energies in the University of Ibadan. The university education uh, in general is that it struggles to have relevance for those who are working in the field. But the fact is that the, the education is often highly theoretical and it doesn't necessarily apply to real life uh, settings. Yeah, the train is such a wonderful train. It's a life changer to me, because after that training, I'm, I'm more relevant now in my department uh, towards conducting my primary assignments. Before we went for that training, it was actually, it, there was no practical training. So it was so difficult for me to, to be relating well with the class most time when I, what I studied in the class, in, in the textbook and everything. The posting has the potential, not just simply to provide uh, a certain segment of education, but to change the nature of that education away from a theoretical base towards more practical hands-on skills that are so desperately needed here. What is happening right now is we have a lot of quacks or people who are not 
properly trained and there are those who are rolling out solar on people's buildings and it's causing some apprehension that people think that solar might be a, a hoax. But with the coming of the GIZ training and with the capacity we have acquired now with the GIZ training, it will enable us to roll out the proper training and the proper certification for Nigerians who are those who will participate in the solar installation industry. From different universities, we were able to engage them. There were so many questions we were asking them because we wanted to know. Before the GIZ training, we were using this uh, term of rule uh, specifications from uh, manufacturers of these products. I didn't know that we have this uh, load meter that you can attach to a house to measure the actual output from that uh, house. I was able to incorporate some things into my research work. The last uh, project topic I gave out were mostly solar energy based uh, projects. Uh, because I, it opened me up to so many things that so many things I, I, I didn't know before that training. The assignment itself was actually uh, a wonderful opportunity to expose not just the uh, instructors and professors, but many students to renewable energies. It's been a tremendous uh, learning experience. Um, I've been empowered with the various skills I need to be able to set up um, solar panels and fix ones that might have any problem. Uh, I have developed troubleshooting skills as a result of this training and yes, my life has been really transformed and I have a renewed passion for sustainability, especially in engineering. As a result of the of GIZ uh, projects for our university, our, we were able to set up a, a green energy club for the students when uh, Mr. Lessing came. So then he, he, ha, he used to have sessions with them every week, almost 10 weeks of, a, of a class activities before we went to six weeks of a practical sessions. During that time, they were able to revamp a solar power system at the Abu Salami and Abu Bakar Hall. That uh, solar power system has been done for some, some years. As part of the support that was provided towards the University of Ibadan, a six kilowatt car port, a solar car port, has also been established that is now used for pilot and demonstration purposes for students at the mechanical engineering department and is also used by staff but at the same time also electrifies with green energy the department itself. This is the first uh, on campus and um, uh, from the information, the, the first in the, in, that is being installed in the university uh, in, in Nigeria. One of the most satisfying uh, elements of this work was shortly after the solar carport was finished. Uh, and there was power coming into the building on a very regular basis. We could see first a trickle, but then almost a flood of students coming in, even from other departments. Uh, the solar carport uh, consists of a, a six kilowatt um, power array. We have about 24 panels, uh, 250 watt each. A battery system, which is a 48 volt system. And uh, we have the storage capacity of a 19.2 uh, kilowatt uh, hour, which is uh, uh, enormous. And since we received this system, in fact, it has uh, turned this, uh, this place to a hub. A hub in the sense that, uh, one, uh, it has been a hub for, that uh, provides an opportunity for uninterrupted power supply for academic and uh, research activities. I remember the, some of these uh, private universities their parents, they were bringing some, some, of, some of their awards down here for online teaching at the peak of the pandemic. That was around June or July. So, and they'd be here for several hours. Uh, and some of them, they've turned this place to a second office. Since uh, it has been installed, we've not, <clears throat> we've been meeting up with um, 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 our deadlines, which was not the case before. I can remember that one of the successes that is recorded right now in the department by being the first department that finished projects quite early and that we've defended because we're able to meet the project deadline. The solar carport now electrifies the Department of Mechanical Engineering, which has led 
to a vast reduction of costs. Um, it has lowered the carbon emissions um, of the university overall and especially this department and has also um, helped to reduce the noise from um, environmentally harmful diesel generators. Since uh, it has been installed, we are not using a uh, generator again. If you get to the, where we uh, kept the generator, they are very du dusty. Initially, at least within a week, we have to buy about 10,000 naira worth of fuel, but now we don't buy fuel again. Our IGR is, um, is fat now because we don't have to waste money to buy uh, petrol. Mechanical engineer is just a stone throw away from the AWO uh, hostel and the IDEA female hostel just down the road here. So it's this is a place they could just easily walk down, make use of the facilities for the assignment. There is no need for them to have to go to places where they could get molested because in the bid of trying to get free electricity to do their work, now that we've gone, most things are going online. There's a place now, like a safe haven for them to come around to use the facilities. We actually realized that even the lecturers, they were able to work in the evening, on weekends and at night because they were sure of access to electricity. The installation we did had a monitoring platform that we could, we could monitor the usage and the input from the solar carports into the building. And we realized that these lecturers, they've actually been coming to work at night. We could see their usage pattern. This is one thing about this carport. It was done with uh, um, a national-based company. It was not a, uh, some firm parachuting in from the outside. Uh, the, uh, the individuals that did the work were from Ibadan. Um, and the design was something that we could be using all over Nigeria. So it served as a good model, uh, much more than a pilot project. It, it was a model of uh, uh, a use pattern that will probably be replicated again and again in Nigeria. We used local content, we used materials that are easily accessible, and we designed a standard solar carport that became a roof. This particular installation was very, very different from the simple case of slapping some solar panels on top of an existing carport. Rather, the carport was made in such a way that the panels themselves incorporated the roof. This project has actually opened up more opportunities for women. Because now women seeing me doing this project, getting involved in this project, the hands-on, the technical designs, everything, see me, make them to see that they too can emulate. And, and it also proves to them that being a woman doesn't stop you from being a technical woman, from being in a technical field. This training has increased the capacity of these trainers to be able to manage the solar carports as well as other equipment that have been donated which is housed within the solar laboratory within the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Ibadan. What this work under this assignment uh, enabled was first the setting up of a solar laboratory and a solar laboratory that I would characterize as a living laboratory. They actually went again to provide a solar lab which has been very, very very, very useful for us because most of the time, you know, you have been a very a research based uh, institution. We actually use that to uh, do a lot of research, researches for our students. GIZ has helped to open up the minds of Nigerians and introduce more people to the benefits of having uh, renewable energy systems to do with solar and the micro hydro, wind turbines, and the likes. With this uh, training, at least 10 of my students are now professional. Uh, solar PV installers. It's on that training that I learned how to design. So I'm now a mini grid designer. This GIZ project is helping me as an engineering student to get ready for tomorrow's market. We're very happy and very proud that this particularly important area, the provision of clean, reliable and affordable energy to present and future generations of Nigerians has become one of the mainstays of our bilateral relations. Thank you.